uh, good evening everyone myself tamanna suchdeva and today i welcome everyone on our medical learning hub platform for the webinar on financial sustainability of chai hospitals smart procurement so i welcome our honorable speakers john santosh who is a director in billion lives father dr sebastian who is the director of rajasthan uttar pradesh catholic health association sister sugandhi she is an administrator of st anne's hospital and sister lisi jose she is a general counsel of society of sister of st anne's uzun and i'm very much thankful to all the members of the chai organization and special thanks to father matthews for conducting the webinar on our platform now i'll be hand over hand overing to the father matthews to start with the webinar thank you most of you are familiar with uh, the term common procurement project which we have been you know doing for some some years now so today's topic is uh, smart smart procurement this term may be a little unfamiliar for you um we have been uh, conducting this webinars on the, the financial sustainability of our hospitals and uh, today we have this sub topic um uh, smart procurement we have very good speakers there will be uh, also experience sharing from our network um uh, this is something which we will be taking forward uh, beyond this webinar so i am requesting uh, mr srivastan to come in and facilitate and moderate this uh, meeting welcome thank you father thank you. so um last week we are actually sent out a survey and uh, first of all i want to thank each one of you who took the time to respond to that survey which really talked about trying to understand how do you view your current procurement practices and how do you see the improvements that it is possible to make and the responses some of the responses were as expected the fact that a lot of the procurement is still based on paper which is the traditional procurement method a lot of the procurement is still based on the usage of the phone to procure your items a lot of your procurement is bases the state of your inventory today and therefore the fact that there is scope to improve the way that hospitals approach their entire procurement uh, needs and that is really the topic of today's uh, uh, webinar and uh, what we found was that it is uh, a process of uh, information sharing that allows each one of us to understand so it's not just that when we launch a program that we have all the answers when we launch a program we also expect that from the initial users we learn we learn as to how best to tailor a program such that the participants may all benefit and which is why today's session which includes two sets of topics one where john santosh is going to talk about best practices in the in the area of procurement and that is what we are calling smart procurement and we have three people from the network who are going to come and share these are people who have been using the portal the the program for a while and they're going to share their experiences on how it has impacted them and uh, i'm looking forward to a very exciting session i hope that you will have a lot of questions to ask and like we did the previous times i would request that each one of you can actually key in your questions so that even as your questions come in if some of them can be answered we will try and do that and if there are questions which remain unanswered at the end we do have time we have set aside we have almost uh, 30 minutes set aside for a q and a session where the panelists and uh, some of us on the session Uh, we'll be happy to answer those questions 
So I want to thank you all again for taking the time to be on this session. And I want to leave it to John to get the session started. John, over to you. Thank you, Srimatsan. Good afternoon, everybody. It's always a pleasure to come and spend some time and have some discussion with the compassionate caregivers of Chai family. From the time I started uh, knowing Chai as a family, my understanding about Chai as a, one of the best kept secrets in the healthcare sector is only going up. So to start with, Chai has put together a Vision 2030 document, a well thought through document which talks about what will Chai be in, in the year 2030. For today's discussion, I picked up a few aspects out of that document. One important part is, unlike any other health chains in this country, the hospital chains in the country, we are present in those areas that they call it as unattractive areas. That's our strength. That's our calling. And the awareness about the quality and the affordable health care that we provide as Chai family by our sisters are not well known in India or anywhere else. So we have, we do a great job, but are we, get, are we getting to, to be seen that way? And for us to be stable in our operations and sustain financially, this series of webinar was all about financial stability. Today, we are talking about another tool for our financial stability, that is the the smart procurement. I'd like to take you back in memories, maybe the World War II, a time when Japan went through a big crisis. They got affected a lot in World War II. A small little country had to come out and survive. They had to flourish in what they were doing. At that time, they had no option than to go beyond the walls of Japan to build their business. If you look at the automobile sector, before World War II, American and European brands were ruling the sector altogether. After World War II, now if you look at, if you think about an automobile, a car, it will invariably be a Japanese name, whether it's Toyota or Honda. So there is a story behind this. When Toyota had to come out and conquer the US market, they looked at multiple tools and one of the important tool they used was the just-in-time inventory system. Now, just-in-time inventory system has become a important management tool in the procurement or the supply chain management part of it. What are the components of this just-in-time inventory management? It starts with reduction of waste. Waste is defined as those activities that you don't need in getting to your ultimate goal. So if you're able to remove all waste in your procurement, that itself brings some efficiency in. Then comes the cash. The cash flow management is another important aspect of this process. Efficiencies in your procurement, what products you need to store in your warehouses, and very importantly, who is your patient? What type of patients you normally deal with? What type of uh, procedures you do? If you're able to understand that, our just-in-time inventory management will become a real useful tool for hospitals. If you go a little beyond that and try to coin the word smart procurement, two important aspects come out of it. One is efficiency, other is effectiveness. Efficiency is all about how to make our internal processes efficient from the time we think of placing an order to the time it is the material is taken into the store, that process, how do you make it efficient? When you talk about effectiveness, it's more about outward looking. Who are our vendors? What type of vendors we deal with? Are they local vendors? Are they present in multiple places? How big are they? Are they giving the right price? Everything which is outward looking. So efficiency is more of inward looking and effectiveness is all about outward looking. At Chai, the common procurement has been put together as a technology platform. 
it's been called medigate on this platform it is not an amazon or it is not a flipkart it is not a place where you go and buy items that has been put out there in the in the portal that's not the principle on which this has been put together maybe initially as a common procurement that was the process that was the thinking but over time the the whole scenario has changed because we started understanding what is the need of our network so today if a hospital is a member of the medigate platform they can register on the platform and they can immediately go and onboard all their suppliers from where they are currently buying so first thing they do is they onboard their suppliers whatever rate they agreed with them put the rate in so you start buying using a digital platform rather than calling or sending an email or sending a paper order it becomes digital like one hospital when more and more hospital do the same thing some power of the network start evolving that means network will start to understand a lot more who which supplier is giving at what price what material our network of similar size hospital in the network is buying at a director level at the chai head office level you will get to see what are we all buying in multiple hospitals what type of uh, scale that we can bring in by collectively negotiating with manufacturers it all starts with you coming on board and getting your vendors on board and start buying them through the platform that's all the starting point is now going forward what this platform helps you do in the efficiency side of it you will be able to place an order in a digital platform things that you order repeatedly month on month just click a button that order will go to the vendor whom you are onboarded when the invoice comes from the supplier the system will take care of the responsibility of checking whether the order has been aligned to the invoice aligned to the price that you agreed with that supplier while onboarding them you can check whether all material that is included in the invoice is actually supplied if it is something is damaged or short supplied system will on a couple of clicks you will be able to generate a credit note and you can also track whether this credit note has been converted to money so that brings a basic level of efficiency into the system at the administrative level at the director level of a hospital you will be able to see end of month you will get an email in your mailbox saying that this has been the type of thing that you've been buying as a hospital and how much you bought from which vendor and how much is the value you get to see everything in one single snapshot becoming digital automatically brings transparency into the entire process if you look at the effectiveness side of it as more and more hospitals are coming onto the platform if you want to just search around like a google search on this this particular medigate platform you can look for a particular material and see who is buying it at a price which is cheaper than what you are buying you can do a lot of fact finding on your own and once you know all these things next time you can go and negotiate better rate with your own suppliers going forward the system will go to the next level which is the medigate platform will grow to the next level of uh, functionality wherein it will interface with your inventory system that means your hospital management system with a hook to the hospital management system when you are reaching the reorder levels system will automatically release or pick up the order and show it to you so your team can review it get multiple people to look at it and finally approve it so that the when your supplier or the vendor gets the emailed order or they can see it on the portal other ways intending the internal requirements so an oncology department or obg can put their intent into this system and the system will move it from the department to the to the pharmacy or to the procurement from there the requirement get added up and that can go into the vendor who is supplying that when a material is getting near expiry it is needed that we should inform the supplier so that we get the credit note that entire responsibility also this platform takes care because we know what you bought when and when it's getting to that level of reorder we can check whether any of this material is still in the stores or not so you will get a trigger that when to raise the when a material is coming to expiry when to start the credit note on the effectiveness side as more and more hospitals come in instead of you go and searching what is the price of it system will start telling you we know you've been buying all these things all this while from different from your vendors maybe a hospital of similar size in the similar area in your 
in your city, in your district, in your area, is buying at a price slightly better than what you're buying. Maybe you can use the data to go and negotiate with your own vendor or even consider moving from one vendor to other. Likewise, as we get to see at the directorate level, who is buying what? There's a great power to go and negotiate with the manufacturers directly for the power of this network to say, we are buying this much, what price we can give to this network. So that is the power that we have, which others don't have today in the healthcare sector in this country. On a technical level, we'll connect to the ERP system of the suppliers so that the order placement and uh, updation becomes much more streamlined. From another point of view is, when you're buying something for your hospital, the best practices of uh, procurement says, you pay to your vendor only after you're converting that into cash. If you're buying a few boxes of syringes, you pay to your vendor after you convert that into revenue by providing treatment to your patients. So the art and science behind this, how do you make sure that your payment cycles are structured such a way that you don't finance your products or you don't pay to your vendor before you get converted that to cash? More and more you are able to rotate it. You get closer to the just-in-time procurement philosophy. Your efficiency will go up, your, your procurement power will go up, your profitability will go up because you don't block your cash. Because today, you're almost in the World War III and we need to figure out ways to protect our cash to provide to our employees and our other needs, not to finance our vendors if not needed. So at this point in time, Chai is able to negotiate with multiple banks to come to you and say, these banks will be able to provide you that bridge finance just in case you're not able to do it with your own cash flow. By, for that, you need to show to the banker what are you been buying? How much are you buying? When are you been paying? If that information, we can definitely bring out a way of finance into the system saying that this is your procurement practice. This is your pattern. On the loyalty side, from the effectiveness point of view, just because we are moving into the digital doesn't mean that we don't earn any of those loyalty benefits that this sector is always giving us. So we should be getting all the CME credits or we should be getting more of the loyalty because we are able to show data that we have been procuring. We, in the sense, each and every hospital has been procuring. So all that schemes that the manufacturers and distributors run today, we should be in a position to attract more of that because we have data to do that. Now, looking more into the healthcare sector, just in time is not enough. We need to keep a balance of just in time and just in case because we are a sector that needs emergency. We are not making cars. We are not making automobiles. We are treating people. So how do we keep the balance between just in time and just in case? So that ratio, to get into that ratio, becomes the another aspect of our smart procurement. To get to that point, if you are able to measure what are the standard procedures that you do in OBG or in knee replacement, whatever that is, are we able to standardize to or measure saying that what items go into a surgery or a procedure like this? Can we start discuss with the clinicians and come to a point saying, for these type of standardized procedures, which vendors, what product we should use? If you're able to do that, it gives us a lot of leeway to go and design your procurement practice to be just in time with a component of just in case coming into that. Now, when the survey was done, Many questions were asked, so many of you responded to it. Some of the points came out very strong. Everyone wanted to have visibility and control on the procurement side. On the questions, are we interested to save money? The answer was again, a big yes. Vendor management, can we reduce the number of vendors to many to small to, and give them more work to make it work efficient? There was a lot of answers over there. Do we have data? to go and do a budgeting next year and see whether we are getting the right type of price from our vendors. Again, another interesting area. And more importantly, there was a clear tone saying that, how can we make sure that cash flow management is better? How do we unlock the cash so that we get a cash to be used for other things that is needed in the hospital? So from a, a way forward, if you feel, if those who are already on the platform and who are coming on the platform not done too much of transactions on this. If you're able to set a procurement improvement goal for your hospital, it could be in terms of uh, whether it's a cash part of it or vendor management part of it, budgeting part of it, whatever your measure is, put it on there, 
chai team will be able to work closely with you on the platform to help you you put all the ingredients needed to ensure that that goal is being achieved now have a quick look at what are we today on this platform 110 member institutions are on the platform so far on the right hand side you will see which state they are all coming from so far we have done two crores of uh, transactions on the platform one hospital has done 50 lakhs transactions on this platform so the platform has started its uh, its promise it's moving in the direction that we have set and there is a promise over there that there is it is not a flip card it is not a, a amazon it is a mechanism to improve your procurement practices and <laughs> document again if you look at the document in in close and detail you will see three terms coming up network digital interdependent 156 times the chai vision 2030 document use the word network 35 times the word digital is coming there and 16 times the word interdependent whatever we've been talking now the smart procurement is a way to achieve this vision of chai quoting the message of our ecclesiastical advisor archbishop prakash malavarappu three important messages solidarity and support to each other utilize the strength of one member on the strength of another use modern technologies this initiative of medicate on the spot procurement is a tool to make the vision of our ecclesiastical advisor a reality thank you hey thanks john <clears throat> thanks for touching upon uh, so many aspects of uh, the procurement process and i uh, i hope that uh, all those listening in will have uh, questions and uh, i just want to reiterate any questions if you could go and request uh, you know put that in the q and a box then uh, we will be able to uh, take that up uh, now uh, i want to follow up with john's presentation with uh, experience sharing for which we have actually lined up uh, three people from within the chai network uh, tamanna introduced them to you at the start uh, sister suganti uh, sister lizzy and uh, father dr sebastian so um, i'm going to start off by asking uh, sister suganti to uh, talk to you about her experience in using the medigate uh, portal Uh, followed by sister lizzy and then we'll go to father dr sebastian um the presentations for uh, sister lizzy and sister suganti will be delivered by the tc4a folks they will do that sister suganti if you can just let them know when you want them to move the slides they will do that for you over to yes yes Good evening, everyone. At the on onset, I wish a very happy Doctors' Day to the uh, Dr. Father Matthew and all the doctors who render round-the-clock service to the suffering humanity. Coming to our topic, our experience with Thai Medicate Portal. Slide, please. pharmacy procurement is not made it yet online the purchase value would be approximately 60 lakhs a month we are already on the process of moving on to online with other items subsequently the value of surgical items purchased is at around 10 lakhs a month for the surgical and disposable items our experience is that we have decided to continue with our own ventures in november 2019 hospital authorities negotiated best prices with the vendors for a calendar year january to december 2020 and for first thing what we have done is we have brought down the number of vendors to six from about 15 to 20 and with all these six vendors for same standard company items what we have done is 
we have made a list of all the surgical and disposable items give a list to each of these six vendors and ask them to give us the best price from their side and though all those who have given the least price we have taken them for uh, ordering our medicines medicaid has not involved in the price negotiation hence no monetary benefit can be shown by transactions on the portal through medicaid but the price benefit is achieved by sendance as these are special rates passed on to the hospital for one year the vendors who gave the lowest price signed and submitted to medicaid and allowed it to be uploaded in the portal the selected vendors have been trained to use the portal sendance procurement team place order on the portal vendor accepts uploads invoice and delivers to the hospital this is a blessing in disguise in this pandemic scenario as less or no physical interaction with the vendors what are the benefits that we have achieved that the prices cannot be tampered or altered by the vendors earlier in the manual system of billing vendors can charge the prevailing rates we have completely achieved the control in this scenario the prices cannot be changed until the revised price list attested by the administrator reaches medicaid technical and support team another benefit important thing that we have found very useful is from unlimited vendors to handful of vendors this helps in a better administration and reconciliation for the administrative purpose we have we get vendor wise report monthly report high value item report for the review there are also benefits to the chai members the vendors are happy as they get assured business from sendance hospital they are also willing to extend the services at the same price to other chai hospitals within the district earlier same chai hospitals are buying from the same vendor same item at different prices due to digitalization now chai medicate portal has visibility to the prices and guide all the members sendance hospital vijayawada gets comparative analysis on the prices between various vendors and on this basis next year contract rates can be fixed actually this experience can be explained well with the hub and spoke model sendance hospital is located in vijayawada city krishna district in andhra pradesh following smaller hospitals of same congregation that is sendance hospital at this minagar 5 km away sendance maternity center jagaipeta 70 km sendance hospital kontapalli 20 km sendance hospital avinigada 60 km next slide slide in krishna district all catholic health centers and hospitals put together would be around 25 centers all the chai member institutions in the district together accounts to 1000 beds so the purchase power together would be very high surely vendors will drop down the prices the moment they realize that there is knowledge sharing within the members when vendors will accept to dig digitalize the prices on the portal hence there will be more transparency conclusion the same pattern or model to be carried out in every district together we are strong now we have the chai medicaid portal that is technology hence request all of you to be part of this initiative which will be very helpful that we together stand very strong that we can win much for our institution thank you thank you sister suganti for uh, sharing in so much granular detail your experience uh, it's been wonderful to have you active participant on the portal 
for these last uh, five months. And uh, we hope that uh, the other member institutions who might be looking at benefiting from this uh, could potentially reach out to you in case they want to hear directly from you uh, more about uh, how it has been for you uh, moving your transactions onto the portal. Um, like you have been um, a great supporter of this initiative, uh, Sister Lizzie has also been a very active supporter from, uh, from the time that the portal was uh, unveiled. And uh, we want uh, very much to benefit from her experience of her interactions with the Common Procurement Program and the Medicaid portal. Over to you, Sister Lizzie. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you, sir. Good evening, friends. Hearty welcome to this short sharing session. Unity is strength. Time and opportunity never waits for anyone. Today we are here under the umbrella of Chai. We know that Chai is the largest network which can represent the Catholic health care sector to the country and even to the entire world. 28% of the global hospital beds are owned by Catholic institutions and 65,000 beds of the country belongs to Catholic hospital, which means we are 10 times bigger than Apollos and Fortis. Now, why, next, first slide, please. Why I promote Chai procurement portal? I found our healthcare institutions are paying three times higher than the real price. It's a matter of great concern for me. We pay such a price when we can afford to get things for much lesser prices and use it for some good works. Even our individual hospitals paying differential prices for the same product from the same vendor within a distance of 10 to 20 kilometers or more. Second point is network strengthens. Chai being the flagship of the Catholic health care, we know that it has the power to bargain with the companies. The third point is Chai represents all the healthcare institutions of the congregation as a single unit. For example, St. Anne's Lucerne has got 25 and more health units, both big and small, throughout India. But when the order is placed, it is considered as a single unit as St. Anne's entity under Chai. Here comes our strength for better negotiations. Fourth point, hence it leads to pulling off large volume to generate potential savings of five to 20 percentage more than the present benefits, what we get. The fifth point, it also saves time and energy spent by the sisters Placing the order manually and getting the things on time is a cumbersome procedure. Definitely, CPP will solve this problem. Another important point is it ensures transparency at all levels. Since there is a platform where everyone can see it, the purchase order, payment, etc., are online. There's no possibility for anyone to mismanage. The system is totally foolproof. We are also able to monitor the entire data. Since the whole process of purchase of order, volume purchased, different vendors on the portal, balance stock, payment are all through the portal. Anyone can monitor the whole data at the click of a button sitting anywhere. 
it also facilitates future sustainability the added savings from the procurement can definitely help us to sustain our healthcare institutions in the future and my previous speaker said all the more it is relevant during this covid-19 crisis and restrictions we are not in a position to sit and discuss and entertain number of vendors one to one for the reason of social distance and these are some of my observations and experiences and why i propagate chai mitigate portal procurement next slide please some of the problems which we were trying to solve first and foremost excessive stock and dead investment of drugs and other items number of unwanted vendors who enter our campus and who exploits us then getting poor quality of drugs and supplies with high prices of course lack of sufficient transparency at all levels these were some of the problems we identified and we wanted to solve it next slide the challenges we came across it is needless to say change is difficult resistance to change over to newer methods of digital purchase some of us so very got used with certain methods and methodologies we just don't want to move it another problem we faced was feeling of technical incompetence and a lot of difficulties and inhibitions in convincing the member institutions of the advantages of cpp and online process how did we resolve this i don't claim that we have resolved all these 100 percentage but some of it we could we had several meetings and the congregation took it as a priority at the congregation level calling for several number of times meetings after the chai conducted meeting for the general and provincial health care team along with administrators administrators of all our hospitals at the chai headquarters then at the congregation level the general took the initiative of calling forth for all the administrators and pharmacists we had a meeting again during the agbm of health care apostolate of our society we availed the expertise of reverend father matthew abraham the director general chai mr srivatsan ceo and mr rajkumar to talk to the members coming down to the lower level at the province and institutional level a few meetings were conducted along with the administrators pharmacists and also we added purchasing committee members and demonstration by mr rajkumar to individual healthcare institutions helped us to develop confidence in technical management these were some of the ways we could overcome our difficulties in conclusion i am happy to say 10 of our hospitals have started using the portal from last january and within a year we know the network grew up to 110 hospitals using chai mitigate portal through technology chai will surely have the visibility as the largest and most respected healthcare player in india and many more could benefit in different ways thank you very much uh, thank you sis lizzy uh, not only have you been very supportive to us from the start but you have also been a very crucial part of helping uh, grow this network within your congregation and because of that support uh, the fact that 
today more than 110 uh, member institutions are signed up and transacting on the portal so i guess that while uh, you know there are issues but one after the other with great support from um, people like you we are able to overcome these uh, challenges and uh, that is very happy uh, that's very good to hear i would now request uh, father dr sebastian to share uh, his experiences please so good evening can you hear yes so hi first of all i take this opportunity to wish all the doctors of uh, chai and all the doctors those who are working together with the team it is not only the doctors those who perform there is a team behind so this is a, an opportunity to thank them and congratulate them and wish them all the best please the first slide so here we i am going to explain from the part of rupcha the common procurement program of rupcha in two phases in the first phase i am going to speak on offline model what we have adopted for the purchase in our region we are working in nine states and 18 dioceses and we have around 300 member institutions and we have 70 hospitals about 10 better to 400 better hospitals so we were finding it to be difficult many were not aware of the conception from the different companies that is mainly the data were not available we were buying we were purchasing from the companies but the data were not available with the individual hospitals so, so that is a, so can you can you hear yes we are able to hear you father okay. so the the data were not available with the hospital individual hospital so what we have done is uh, first of all we were we we, were, we tried to collect the data from the hospital what is the procurement uh, amount of procurement from each company and the many of the hospitals or mostly all the hospitals were not able to give any data of the purchase from individual companies secondly we found another very big difficulty of uh, coordinating of purchase unit with the administration purchase unit as was we have found or we have made the study and we found it the purchase unit is practically an independent unit in the hospital and it has nothing to do or it are very rarely coordinate with the administration so the administration and the purchase unit is not coordinated well so that the 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 drawback is well made use by the vendors or the companies or for in the the people those who are around so we want to we want to block that problem of uh, the purchase the lack of coordination between the administrator and the purchase in charge of the unit thirdly we have come to a uh, exploitation by thousands of vendors usually in our own hospital what we have made an a study and we found that in our own hospitals all of us are very busy our busy schedule and our emergencies were exploited by the vendors so we were not aware or the we were not we were not able to monitor properly how to how to uh, solve this problem of our own busy schedule and the emergencies were to occur in between and that this these are the things what they exploit uh, the vendors exploit mostly not only the quality quantity and the price this also is exploited our own business and our own our own uh, lack of coordination and our own emergencies okay next please. so in order to find a solution for the this problem we found out another way of a, a pro common procurement program and in that common procurement program we we it is not we are, we we are not together all together attacking the companies for this purpose so we made a, a creating a platform of win win situation so we tried to make a, a contract a rate contract with the companies not with the vendors practically if we can go directly to the manufacturer or the company we have got so much of advantage the the vendors can vendors are so very limited they have only very limited 
possibility or giving uh, uh, the situation to provide us the um, advantages. So we directly contacted the companies. So the hospitals, the advantage for the hospital for the common procurement by the common procurement is uh, they can get the best price and the best quality and the best service possible. So for the companies, the win-win situation, the companies they get a large quantity of purchase from their company. Please next. So what we try to do is a special rate for Rupcha. That is a we uh, we found a, a platform where we can collectively bargain as against the bargaining of an individual hospital. If we try to bargain collectively. It is a powerful, it is so powerful that if when we offer a 50 bed, 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 uh, 50 beds against uh, 5,000 beds, naturally the companies are attracted by that and they are ready to come down to our stage and uh, fulfill our demands. Secondly, we try to uh, avoid the monopoly of certain companies. In our own hospitals, we found that certain companies are taking monopoly of the products for so many years. So we want to bring many companies of the same for the for same items. So we try to register three and more companies for the same item. So for each item and the same item, we try to uh, try to register more companies so that the monopoly of the companies are broken. Thirdly, the yearly evaluation and contract renewal with the mutual consent of the MIs. So the member institutions are given priority. It is not the Rupcha's regional unit is taking decision for the member institutions. We tried to include every member institution and we call in every year for a meeting and in the common meeting. In that meeting, we invite the companies also. It is not only we, simply we the administrators and the purchase managers of the hospitals, we invite the companies also so that we can get the feedback from the company also. What is their feedback? And we can give our feedback also. In that, we, we select the companies and we give them feedback and the quality about the quality, price, and the services what they render. And either we share it each other. After that, we, uh, the, in that itself, in, the, in that point, is another advantage what we get is uh, a continued medical education, CME. Is a very important thing. Many times we, uh, as a small unit, one single institution, we may not be able to get the advantage of CME, but as a unit, if at a more hospital, more beds are provided to them, there are many companies ready to provide us the CME. Sometimes we hesitate to, uh, excuse me, please come back. Sometimes we hesitate to take up this, uh, uh, get into this common portal because we are frightened. We may not get the individual monetary benefits. So we uh, try to conscientize the, the uh, administrators or the in charges of the hospital. It is not that the individual monetary benefit that matters. It is that institutional monetary benefit. So we are shifting a, a, a dangerous situation. That is, it is individual monetary uh, benefits to institutional monetary benefit. So we may not, for time being, we may not get any, or the, sometimes what we were getting individually, now we are getting it as a institution. So that is a big uh, shift from individual to institution. Please, next one. So second phase, as it is, uh, if uh, anybody is interested to know more about it, I can explain to you later. So we will be going to the next phase, that is the online portal. Now, till now we were explaining about the offline. Now we are going to online model. So Chai launched the portal in 2019 in collaboration with the Indent Health of Leverage or bargaining power of Chai network. The same thing what I explained, the collective bargaining power of uh, our institutions. It is now we are shifting to from 50 budget of uh, 50 bucks of an individual hospital to a 5,000 bed of uh, Chai hospitals, all uh, national. It is from regional to individual hospital to the regional hospital, from the regional hospitals to national hospitals. That means fine India, all India, we are we're trying to sell the things. So operational expertise and the healthcare experience of the Indian health is used 
to bring into effect this online portal. Please next. And the the part what we are doing, the Rupcha is doing. Rupcha's work is for uh, for a uh, task we have taken up. That is first identifying the companies with the member institutions or the hospitals or the administrators and the purchase managers, and select the uh, companies what is suitable for an year, and fix the rate, price, uh, fix the price, quality, and the service terms. Secondly. Uh, thirdly, we register that company, three or more companies for the same product with Rupcha. And again, we empanel these companies to the uh, online portal. The price is negotiated by Rupcha along with the uh, member institutions. And we, the, the pre-negotiated price is onboarded in the on, uh, online portal. Registered companies are onboarded with the Rupcha as well as to the Chai Medigate portal. Next, please. So the benefits for the hospitals, what we found is a benefit for the hospitals, access to pre-negotiated competent price for all member institutions, irrespective of volumes. The, the first in the, Mr. John Sandesh was telling about, uh, speaking about the, the collective advantage. <laughs> even the small hospital or the, even the clinic, if once we are in the portal, we, the, even the clinic can procure the, the uh, product with the same price as a uh, 500 better hospital is purchasing. Same price is for all. Standardized purchase price across member institution. No purchase price variations between small and large members. Reduce procurement cost across the network. So, as I said, when we come together collectively, then we get the price of the things as well as I was inquiring or talking with the uh, companies. Maximum is the, the, the MR, from the MRP, they get the, the production cost and the supply cost together. They only, it is only a 10 percentage of the MRP. That means 90 percentage we can negotiate. 90 percentage of every product, the MRP of the every product can be negotiated. And it is a big question mark in the front of us, how much we are negotiating and how much we are able to get. So the only 10 percentage, so few companies were telling me that if a 10 percentage, if we can get from the MRP, we the company can run in profit. That means 90 percentage of scope is with us. So the more we can, we are able to negotiate and we, we are able to come together and uh, uh, speak together to the companies, then naturally we, the, the price will be coming down or then the savings are retained by the members. The, what the Rupcha is doing, the total saving from the bargaining, from the companies what we get, is retained by the member institutions. It is not shared by the Rupcha or anybody. Nobody, is, it is, nobody has what a power to take from them. It is the member institutions. So they, many of them are happy about it because they are sharing the, we are not getting, or we are not asking for any share from the member institutions, the total saving is given to the member institutions. Freedom from the pain of individual negotiation with the vendors. So here, again, I would like to tell you that we are not negotiating with the vendors. We are negotiating with the companies and the companies give the, or the authorized vendors, companies allot the organized vendors to the Rupcha group of hospitals. Help desk to assist the ordering and issues. Now in the portal, there is a help desk to help us in a, in our uh, in our need or in, uh, in to initiate ourselves into the portal. So the free membership to all the MIs. So the we, we the all our MIs, the Rupcha MIs are given the free membership. No service charge is taken from them. Easy comparison of product, companies, quality, price, and service. That is the biggest advantage for every individual hospital so, sitting at the sitting at your own purchase department or the administrator can go through the products and the specifications, companies, quality, price, and service of every product. Easy purchase and payment tracking system. So the administrator and the coordination between the administration and the purchase is very easy. So because in front of them, everything is there prior to the, the payment and the tracking system. Easy purchase control by the administrator and the less time consuming because 
we need not go in search of the product and the quality companies price and service and it is it is already in a pre negotiated price so we need to just buy it please next one more transparency uh, transparency on transactions as you know this is a transparent more transparent way of purchasing and blocking leakages in purchase system you know and you are well aware of the leakages where are the leakages in our purchase system and that can be blocked very well and because we can uh, in timely monitoring of uh, of the purchase system we will block the leakages in a, in a certain extent reduce the burden of documentation filtering model we can filter that is also as i said already i explained to you how to filter the uh, how can we filter to, through the this uh, online portal so the filtering product ways we can filter or the manufacturer quality service and the price and things like and the procurement under one roof that is the most important thing what we are negotiated with the this uh, online portal the administrator is a person one who is struggling always with the so many things so the administrator should feel very comfortable sitting at the chair thinking that all this the all what is required for the hospital is ready in front of that person the consumables pharmaceutical reagents equipments and furnitures so in the as a as we are looking every all purchase of the hospital should be under one roof that is the one uh, uh, larger vision of this portal so i take the occasion to thank you for giving me a opportunity to speak to you thank you uh, thank you father sebastian uh, i mean that was really detailed i think you touched upon so many aspects which i think are important and um, some of this i think uh, reflect in the kind of questions that have come up and um, i want to try and uh, open up now for a question answer session there are some questions uh, i request participants on the call to try and key in uh, as many questions as are possible we have uh, somebody who will yeah consolidate that in a sheet and then put them up and then i will request the panelists to answer as appropriate okay uh, so, so i request the uh, uh, yeah, sure. participants to kindly uh, key in your questions so uh, we have some questions around so i have put it on uh, presentation so i am presenting it now yes please. so that uh, everyone can see so panelist can ask like panelist can answer that questions so what's the first question how are the perks given by a vendor delivered to the specific institutions example free items gifts etc how do you keep track of which vendor wants to give to which institution uh, can i request rajkumar if you are on the call do you want to try and answer that Good evening. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. So, uh, are you talking about? First of all, there is a confusion in the question. Are you talking about uh, the schemes which the vendors are willing to deliver to the hospitals? That is usually in pharma. There are schemes. Ten strips. If you buy, they give two plus two strips free of cost. If you are talking about this. all these things are already built in into the system so anything you just order 10 items automatically the system will pick up that plus 2 strips free and it will be delivered to you it will be in the system itself if you are talking about any other gifts and perks no we are not encouraging this through the vendors let me take an opportunity to speak yes father yeah. so the first question itself is a very wrong understanding of things the the free gifts and the things what the vendors are giving they are taking out the money from our own pocket and giving some a portion of it to uh, to us by a gift 
so we want Perfect. to block it we, we want to block it we want to say no to that and we want to the as i have explained to you individual benefits are blocked so the institutional benefit as a uh, is encouraged so that is all what is mentioned this is a very wrong question and wrong, wrong question means we were accustomed to get it but now we are trying to by common procurement we are trying to stop that it is not that they are giving free of course so many things they are taking the money from our pocket and giving a portion of it to us as a gift and we are very happy to it happy to receive it and we are very comfortable with it we are trying to stop that okay thank you um i see a couple of questions yeah. relating to data security and connectivity john do you want to answer uh, these questions sure so from the data manipulation point of view the best way not to manipulate the data is to make it digital and i was trying to say that there is an audit trail if someone manipulates first of all you need to have the right access right to manipulate. there is a you, you have to speak a bit loud mr john yes am i can you hear me now yeah, this yes. voice is better okay yes So what i'm saying is uh, manipulation in a technology is difficult than manipulating in a paper you need to have proper access right to go and change any data so once you onboard a vendor and put the rates that will be approved by the right level of people in the hospital and once it is there then that is not changed till it is updated so then the system takes the responsibility of doing it if someone goes and try to manipulate the data on the database level there are enough securities put in place that such things just don't happen so you can be sure that this is in a very secure environment what is the other question uh, you are talking about is about connectivity how right. can um... yeah connectivity is an important subject we also faced there are various parts in the country where the wifi connection networks are all not that great so hence we done is one time we come upload the vendor details all those things we completely enable a call center at the center level if you are not having the connectivity to place an order you can call the call center one of the chime members at the call center will place an order on your behalf and an email will come to you whenever you have the time you can check that and you can confirm that on the email itself that what you called on the phone is what actually been placed So that completes the loop. So there is no direct dependency on how good the connectivity is. The dependency is you should be able to call the call center and tell what it is. From that point, the order to the vendor becomes digital. Uh, uh, thanks, John. So there is a question here which is very interesting. It says local vendors are not much interested. I think uh, Sister Lizzy or Sister Suganti, you onboarded all your vendors onto the platform. uh do you want to share how you get your vendors to agree to move to the platform yeah uh, sister lizzy uh, sister sugandhi one of you uh, would you like to answer that um father sebastian you are in the process of yes yes your vendors so perhaps what we, what we do is uh, what we are doing here in this is uh, we register the companies we have nothing to practically nothing to do with the vendors and we give the address of the hospital with the details and the vendors and uh, the company uh, the allot the authorized to vendors to each hospital after getting the authorized to vendor for each hospital only we register the companies it is the responsibility of the company to allot a other allot a authorized to vendor to the hospital and it is we make sure that the hospital is happy with that vendor and we make sure that it is an authorized to vendor so we have nothing to do with the vendors we have uh, we uh, we have uh, the dealing with the we deal with the companies or the manufacturers so it is the, the procedure is very easy very simple simplified in such a way that the we, we have practically nothing to do they have they can they cannot manipulate the vendors cannot manipulate the serve, the service or the quality and the price of the things product so we immediately if there is any problem immediately we call to the 
we uh, any we, while we, when we get any complaint from the any hospitals immediately we call the uh, the uh, companies or the manufacturer and we tell that from this such a vendor we have this experience so immediately they solve the problem so what i found is uh, what we find is it is very easy so if you are going after each individual vendors it is very difficult but if you are going with the company then it is very easy uh, so since uh, you are answering this question about vendors for sebastian perhaps you also want to talk there's a question here about mis not being members of rupcha for instance yeah. uh, whether they can access rupcha rates and vendors sure right? surely surely you are open to it so i i and i think that is the same point that sister lizzy and sister sugandhi made that once a, mem, a vendor is on board it he is willing to support people who may be part of another part of chai so that the whole idea is to give all the members the benefit of the cumulative negotiation etc that gets done Uh, which brings me to probably the last question that we will be able to take because we are at about 520 or now is about the fact that the same price is being proposed by the portal and the local distributors in this case what is our benefit for this online purchase um coming back to father sebastian do you want to take this uh, thing or uh, yes there is the the there is the, in the beginning this same thing happened because we negotiate the price with the companies and we uh, onboard that into on uh, online portal so they display the same rate of the, the uh, of the company so that the pr price is same as the members go uh, the increases or the number of birds increases what happens is uh, this price the the price come down according to the company's agreement where when we register the company or the, we negotiate with the companies they come down so it is this same same for all that is advantage is one advantage the primary advantage is for you know, the uh, the pan india all india the all hospitals all dispensaries all everyone will get the same price if you are buying one unit or 100000 units 1000 units the same price for all so that is we are negotiating who else has to negotiate chai as a uh, as a uh, collective unit has to negotiate and put the price so that is what i am saying if an individual hospital is going and bargain or negotiating they they have may, they may have 100 but but so if uh, chai as a unit if we have what of uh, 50000 but they wash different the company will come down very uh, heavily come down to uh, reduce the price of the product and the, that will be shown in the portal thank you for sebastian and that is a, again as you said it is a, it is a technology is used now the vendors may bring to you the things the first the rate is same and the quality we may have to check every time but in the portal we can see the quality the price and there is no variation in the price quality and the things all throughout the registered the, that is one year we make the registration for one year so the during that one year there is no change there will not be any change in the the price quality and the service of the uh, according to the agreement in the port uh, yeah thank you for the sebastian i see that it's 523 and um, we want to just take a few minutes to close this ses session i am trying to check if father matthew would like to come back and offer his uh, closing uh, comments at this time yeah uh, thank you srivastan uh, tamana maybe you could yeah uh, so uh, thank you everyone especially the speakers uh, sir john sandosh sister sugandhi sister lissy and uh, father sebastian uh, thank you for sharing the experiences and uh, thanks uh, srivastan for uh, facilitating the meeting um and uh, tamana for yes, inviting us i think uh, Yeah. Uh, I would request the group to stay for another five minutes, and uh, Tamana have a poll to be completed. So, yeah. Uh, we will we will come back to you with the recorded version, and also uh, we will take it beyond this webinar because this is also a project for us. Uh, so once again, uh, thank you everyone, and a happy Doctors Day. Okay. Yeah. Over to Tamana. Uh, 
thank you everyone uh, like our all mls team is very much grateful and thankful to all the speakers and the chai organization to have such an informative webinar on our platform and i also thanks to all the participants for joining for today webinar and i request to all the participants for just stay about 2 minutes so that there will be a poll that will be displayed on your screen you just need to have a vote for about it it will take about 3 minutes and from our side if uh, any uh, sorry for the inconvenience that caused between the presentation because there was a uh, some technical issue from our side power cut from our side so like i'll be displaying a poll so yeah it's displayed on the screen kindly uh, vote everyone like participants i request to all participants to vote so i am ending the poll now thank you everyone thank you to all the panelists participants for joining this webinar i hope everyone have enjoyed the webinar and the recording will be soon the one who have like in between they have not listened up or due to some issues they are not they were not able to listen so the recording of the webinar would be posted on our mlh platform so once it will be uploaded everyone will get notified for it thank you chai organization thank you to all panelists speakers and participants for the webinar thank you